this is what I'm saying. So at that particular time, I know Isaiah understood what they were doing. And here's Isaiah coming out talking about, oh, Jordan had said that they were unworthy of being champs and they were ruining the game and all that. That's why they felt that kind of way. And they had this, this disdain towards the Bulls and all that on a court, on a court. If it's on the court, Michael Jordan was talking about it off the court. So that means he also did not like Michael Jordan off the court. Okay, so I, I, I understand it. Mike was petty. But Isaiah, you got you to gotta own this thing, man. You got to own it. You got to come out and say, you know what? We didn't like them. We didn't care for them. We didn't want to shake their hands. And that's that. That's fine. You own it. You live with it. But coming out pretending like, oh, you know, this was the way things were and all that. Things were not that way. Things were not that way. All right. Let me let me repeat that very clearly so you understand. That is not the case because you said it yourself. You guys were bitter. You were mad. You were losing. You were down. And Michael Jordan's going out there talking trash about your game off the court. And that pained. It hurt you guys. Your feelings were hurt. All right. So when you talk about this is what they did, this is how things went down. No, that was not the case. I feel like Isaiah is being petty because he can't own it, own it, own it, embrace it, embrace it and be like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Jordan is salty. I don't care. We didn't shake their hands. That was that. They beat us. So what? You want us to shake their hands after they beat us? I would respect that a lot more, Isaiah. Just own it, own it, embrace it, take it, take it, and be like, ah, yeah, we lost and we don't give a damn about them. I think they sound petty, both of them, you know what I mean? It's just, it's petty, get over it. So what, shaking hands, they didn't shake hands and all that, it's, it's over. But Isaiah is trying so hard to clean that image. You guys were the bad boys, the bad boys. There was a reason for that. You are called the bad boys. Embrace that, take it in. All right, brag about it and be like, you know what? That was the past though, but that's the way things work. But don't try to justify it and going around snitching. Oh, the Celtics did that to us. That's called snitching. That is snitching. All right, Isaiah, that is snitching, my friend. Don't do that. Own that shit. That was you. Own it. Embrace it. Here we are talking about MJ and Isaiah after 30 years. I can't believe this. But it's the last dance. You got to love the last dance. They're doing a great job. But I am still kind of disappointed a little bit. This is what we're talking about. It. I wanted to hear more. I want to hear more. I want to hear about the Bulls. I want to hear about the games. I want to hear more of some of the dirt. All right. Yeah, I do want to hear more dirt about MJ. Yeah, a lot of things that, that's not coming out. I mean, I did hear a couple of things here and there back in them days. And for me, just loving the Bulls and being a really huge MJ fan and certain things that I heard about and they're not covering those. Now, I understand MJ has control over this thing. This thing would have never been released if MJ didn't give uh, the A-OK. -okay. Guys, you can go ahead. And I think the final edits, MJ has the control over it. You know, this stays, this doesn't stay, this stays. And that's why he also wanted that Isaiah Thomas to be in there because he clearly does not like him, him, Isaiah Thomas. But anyway, coming back to that. So we missing on Tony Kukoc uh, being treated terribly by MJ and Scottie Pippen because he was making more money than Scottie Pippen and Jerry Krause. That was his boy now, Tony Kukoc. So they hated Tony and they treated him like shit. I want to see more of that. You know, I just want to see more stuff. I want to see more stuff and I want to see more stuff. I want to hear more insight about the game, how they approach the games and different games and all that. I know it's, it's a lot of stuff that's happening on the side and all that, but I, I also want to hear more about the game. I just want to understand their mindset and, and just the way they were, you know, approaching all the different games in um, the 98, the 98, the last dance that, yeah, that's it. But yeah. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe we'll get better. It still is good though. I'm loving it. But maybe we'll get better. Maybe we'll hear more. But I want more dirt because Michael still looks like a saint. I know there's dirt out there. Please share and don't forget to like and do subscribe to my channel because I need it right now. I'm stuck inside the house, so I need to do something to generate some kind of income. All right. So this might work for me because if I can't do this, I don't know what I could do. You know, I'm going crazy up in here. So please do subscribe. I need you, man. I need you. Drop a comment, man. Say something about this video, man.